Hello, my name is Ayim Hanna, and I'm the author of A Cruel Path to Clear Perception. American writer Amy Bloom once wrote, you are imperfect, permanently and inevitably flawed, and you are beautiful. The idea of self-acceptance is to be content with oneself, one's achievements, the perception that a person has of themselves, and the disregard for how others may view them. Today I'll be talking to you about overcoming the stigma against vulnerability in Arab society. For a long time, we Arabs have measured individuals by reputation, money, power, and all the factors that contribute to how a group views a person on the outside, instead of how they view themselves. But of course, this natural human judgment is detrimental to our growth as a species, for it engraves in us the idea that we must succeed in the eyes of others, and not give much thought to our journeys as ever-growing individuals. To help people realize this problem, I took my inner reflections and dwellings and turned them into something meaningful. A fictional memoir titled The Cruel Path to Clear Perception. The story of Yahya, the trapped Arabian boy who had everything going against him. As he grew up, Yahya saw himself turn to someone he despised. A selfish, aggressive crybaby with hatred to all and love for none. These feelings and insecurities stemmed from the effects of his childhood. As a young kid, Yahya repeatedly heard his parents fight and argue, while his siblings did their best to try to hide the truth of their problems away from him. He also saw himself disliking his friends, appearance, and most importantly, who he was. He had a pessimistic outlook on life, where he could only see the bad in things. And reasonably, people found it hard to understand him because of it. What made it even worse was that he didn't have an explanation. Whenever Yahya was alone, he only thought about his past. And most often than not, Thinking about the past made Yahya feel helpless. Yahya did not want to feel helpless anymore. He was sent to take control of his future by letting go of his past. At the beginning of the story, Yahya feels confused. He struggles to understand why he was born into an environment with many problems. He did not even know how to react to the problems his family faced and felt lost. However, as the story progresses, you can see him devote himself to changing this reality. He did this by forming deeper relationships with each and every family member. He took long, long walks with his father to learn more about him. He interviewed his grandparents to understand the principles each side of the family followed. He asked questions about the early days of his parents' marriage to learn more about them. Yeah, he worked hard. He spent time and focused on understanding his people. In the end, that is what led him to be accepting of himself and those around him. You might wonder why I'm sharing the journey of a fictional character. That is because Yahya is not a fictional character. I, Ali and Hannah, I'm Yahya. I am the boy who felt ever so lost in what turned out to be a set of life-changing lessons. I purchased self-help books, Thinking Fast and Slow, How to Win Friends and Influence People, The Laws of Human Nature, and so on. I exercised every day to feel better about myself, but what made the difference was that I learned to love myself and those dear to me. I kept on learning and I was persistent in reaching out and asking people to share their experiences with me. What mattered to me was understanding myself and why my life was the way it turned out to be. All of that came from accepting the need to educate myself, refusing to stay quiet about my struggles, and embracing vulnerability as a stepping stone to growth. From a young age, it was my understanding that sharing our thoughts and being vulnerable was a form of weakness. As a community, we're not where we could be in terms of supporting self-growth or admitting to our faults. The majority of us hide our vulnerabilities in a place so deep within ourselves in order to avoid the possibility of others figuring them out. But consider the alternative. What if we all gathered around, shared our thoughts and problems, and listened to what others had to say? Some people overcame the exact obstacles you and I are going through right now. Yet there is no way for them to help us if we're all afraid to show that we are not perfect. The old-fashioned ways of hiding ourselves have to change. Our future even children depend on us to be the role models of self-acceptance, we are capable of proving that bettering ourselves and learning from others is not an indication of weakness, but proof of long-lasting strength. As Arabian thinkers today, we must work towards a more transparent community where everyone strives for one another, another succeed through our failures, to educate ourselves to be vulnerable. The Yahya's of our nations need it, and we need it. No person has ever lived without encountering hardship or sorrow, I felt I had the whole world fighting against me, yet I still found a way to use my weaknesses to find victory in myself. We are all bound to fail. 
but motivating ourselves to improve is what will separate us from our past and better our children's future. I will leave you with a quote from my book. Perhaps sadness and anguish are the ways through to the end of a cruel path to clear perception. Thank you very much.